Hi, my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God and we're going to continue, continue our series today on revival and how to bring it to your home and your town and especially to America. Um, one of the first things, and I'm going to be, um, I'm going to, God asked me to teach for my book here, Feed, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living and End, and end Times, uh, which you can get at at Amazon.com or over the internet and you get it at local Christian bookstores. If they're not carrying it, they'll order it, ask them to carry it. It's a life-changing book, not because I wrote it, but, but because God wrote it and I was the tool. Okay, today we're going to talk about the Kingdom of God. Um, in these end times, the Word said, if you're watching the video series, the word, the Bible said, and we won't, went over yesterday, that um, the Kingdom of God will be preached. The Gospel, the good news of the Kingdom of God would be preached, then the end will come as a witness. Um, so we're gonna, I'm going to show you today that there are two kingdoms on this earth, two main kingdoms on this earth. And once you understand that, you'll begin to be able to step into your authority, your power, and your dominion that God gave you to change the world. The reason um, that, we're gonna, that we're here now in this time, you and me are here in this century and not in cowboy days or in Roman days or in um, Viking days is because God has equipped us with the power and the peace and everything that we need to rule and reign his kingdom uh, that's within us to change things to to change things on this earth to take over the earth for God basically so let me show you I need to prove to you in this video that there are two kingdoms on this earth okay first of all I want to show you that God is not in charge of this earth but Satan is Okay, let's go to, uh, if you have your Bibles there, you can go along with me. If not, just write it down and look it up later. Um, Satan is the ruler of this world system or this kingdom. Uh, in the beginning, God gave Adam and Eve all authority and all dominion, told them to rule, subdue, and have authority over the earth. They sold out to Satan, which gave Satan all their authority, uh, dominion, and rule. And uh, they became, uh, everyone after that became the ch children of Satan. Basically, that's why we have to be born again. When we have a new father, we're adopted in. And when we ask Jesus to receive his free gift of salvation, dying for our, our sins, we become born again and uh, God becomes our father. Okay, I'm trying to make this short. Um, okay, so if you look at um, this scripture here, it says, in the course according to the power of the prince of the air this okay in which you once walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit who now works in the son of disobedience sons of disobedience okay uh, I'm not sure where that scripture is I don't have it right here uh, Ephesians 2 2 says the ruler of this world Satan is judged so uh, John 16 11 says um, uh, I don't know. Well, these are mixed up, I guess. Uh, you'll have to take a look at that one. Also, John 12, 31 says, Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. John 14, 30, The ruler of this world is coming. And Revelations 12, 9, So the great dragon was cast out. The serpent of old called the devil, Satan, who deceived the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and the angels were cast with him. The, uh, Satan was cast to the earth, and he became the ruler of the earth. He made a mess of it. In Genesis 1, when the Holy Spirit was hovering over the earth and it was in chaos and mess, that's because God did something on the earth, but when he kicked Satan out, Satan messed it up, so God reconstructed it for us. Anyway, um, those are the scriptures that shows you. Uh, and also, uh, when Jesus is being tempted, uh, Satan said, I will give you all the kingdoms of the world and their glory if you bow down and worship me. Um, Jesus and then Jesus answered him so it would not have been a temptation if it wasn't true Satan is the ruler of this world and this world is called the kingdom the way that things operate and that's why they're falling down because if the king is corrupt the king's system will fall down so this world the reason it's in such a, a chaotic horrible mess um, everything's failing is because it took this much time for sin to build up on the earth and hit spots where the earth could no longer hold it. The earth reels to and fro under sin and cracks up under sin. It can no longer hold it. So events are happening around the world because it just can't get, it was not made to uh, have sin on it. So it's breaking up. But anyway, so Satan is the ruler of this world. He is the kingdom of this world. Do you think God would uh, make this mess or 
have the world in a mess. No, he gave authority to man. Man gave it to the devil. Jesus came and took it back and gave it to us Christians. Now us Christians need to stand up and enforce the kingdom. Okay, let's talk about what the kingdom is. Uh, the kingdom is um, God's government, God's authority, God's dominion. The king dominion. And God said, I, I mean, Jesus said the kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is power in you. And he said, when he went around healing people, he said, if I cast out demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. And he says, the kingdom of God, um, the kingdom, of, he said, demonstrating the kingdom, heal the sick, cast out demons, cleanse the leopards, raise the dead, and so on, and preach the gospel to the poor. That is the kingdom of God. Heaven, your kingdom come. Matthew 6 says, your king, the Lord prayed this way and taught us to pray this way. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, anything that's not in heaven is not allowed on earth. Okay, we have the keys to the kingdom. It's called binding and loosening. Okay, I hope I'm not going too fast. I'm trying to keep these video clips under five minutes, but there's so much in my book. I just can't get it all out. Okay, um... And we are ambassadors for the kingdom. There's oh so much good stuff on the kingdom I can't even go over. And I think that's probably out of time for this video. Um, um, yeah, I think uh, there's rules and laws to the kingdom. You'll have to read that. Um, this is actually um, chapter 5, two different kingdoms on the earth. And uh, like you can read this free, 30% of my book on smashwords.com if you can't afford to pay for it or can't buy it but it is much better in person because you can write on it and highlight it and take notes and stuff um, so that's it today and tomorrow we're going to go over words and how words are key things in the kingdom because in order to have revival you have to begin to walk in God's power. You got to spend time in prayer. You got to know your authority. You got to know your righteousness. You got to know the kingdom is in you to change things. And you got to walk in that. Well, my name is Robin Bremer, and I hope this video clip helps. I hope you stick with me through the whole series, uh, through all the different things I'll be teaching, uh, quickly teaching. And you're watching Walks with God. See you tomorrow.